Um, my computer's broken at home, so I'm gonna go to the mall and see what's what. I'm sure the prices are not small, but I think I can afford it. Maybe I'll buy a couple more games, have some free time. As far as I remember, the store's department is on the third floor. The first two are mostly different places with a lot of food, from pizza and burgers to fruit and expensive dishes. Okay, I didn't come here for the food. I came here for the computer. Okay, up these stairs, and here are the stores. Game store, I'm gonna go in. I beg your pardon. How much? Why is it so expensive? Those prices, they're scary. Computer store? How much? Where can you get that kind of money? It's a lot of money. I need a computer, but not for that kind of money. It's horrible! $50 for candy? That's terrible. It's too expensive. I just have no idea how to earn so much in a short period of time. <clears throat> Prices have skyrocketed unbelievably. We should find Mikey, see what he can tell us. I think he's got some rich friends. It's just awful to look at these prices. What a huge mall it is. I even got a little lost. What a pleasure for people to walk in such places where you can't understand where and what to go. Finally, the street. Okay, where am I? I think this is the way to the main street because I'm really lost out here. Oh, this mall, it's horrible, honestly. It's like a giant maze where all you do is spend a ton of money. Oh, Mikey, hey, I got a problem. Do you have any friends you can borrow some money from? My computer crashed, so I went to see how much a new one costs, and I was stunned. I don't have that kind of money. It's annoying. Prices have gone up a lot. Yo, come with me. I ain't got no friends to borrow money from, but I got a buddy that can help us get some money. It's a little illegal, though. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. He's cool. You'll like him, but it's not that close. But it's not far. You sound so calm, even though you're talking about criminal stuff. Why don't you be a little quieter and more modest, or we're going to get nailed? I don't feel like talking to the authorities right now. It's all right. There's no one here yet. It's business hours. People are in offices, so I can communicate at a normal volume. So don't worry. Plus, we haven't done anything yet. We just go out and walk around and talk about whatever pops into our heads. Okay, I think you're making a lot of sense. So, where are we going? What's this building? I'm confused by so many windows. Would it be safe to talk to that man here if he's a criminal? It's all clear! It won't be a big deal! People are at work and there's no one here, so don't worry. Let's wait for him. How long do we have to wait for it? We don't know if it's coming at all. It's okay. We originally agreed to meet today, so we'll just wait a little while. He usually comes by around this time. I don't get it. Who are you? Oh, Mikey, you're here as promised. Who's this? We didn't agree to this. I'm gonna shoot him. Wait, Finn, calm down. This is a good friend of mine. He's having a financial problem right now, and he wants to help us out a little bit with a case. Oh, huh? A friend. I hope he doesn't screw us. All right, let's keep going. All right, let's go. We're all set. Our case will be finalized. By the way, our accomplice hasn't made contact. So your friend is going to be a big help to us and he's going to sort out his financial problems. I think you're going to like the results. Although you'll have to get your hands on it. Finn, that's your name, isn't it? I'm JJ. Trust me, I'm not giving anyone up because I'm shocked at these prices. It's literally a ripoff. I'm guessing you guys are up to something criminal. Probably a robbery. I have a feeling it's gonna be a bank. Sounds extremely dangerous. 
Uh, you're pretty smart. You're also perceptive. You're not bad. I think I'll believe you, JJ, but don't expect me to trust you. Just because you're Mikey's friend, that's the only reason I'll help you. I have a small group of people who are pros at what they do. Everyone takes a risk and makes a huge profit. So I think you'll understand the structure of our group and help us. Your percentage of the robbery will be about 20. Mikey is 25. There's six of us, so there's a division between all of us. Informant, inside man, hacker. We've been preparing for this for a long time, so don't screw this up. You see, JJ, there's a pretty strong organization here, so we're sure to get a nice reward. Yeah, I've already realized that. All right, Finn, tell me what the plan is. It's pretty simple. There's a chest here, and a car. There's some useful gear in the chest. Here's the plan. You drive up to the bank, the alarms and cameras will be turned off. You take out all the guards, and you take everything in the vault. We'll give you the explosives. So it's pretty simple. Get dressed and let's go. Oh yeah, this outfit is extremely comfortable and cool. I feel almost invincible in it. The gun's cool too, with a silencer so you can't hear it from the street. Cool. I think I'm going to stick with you guys for now. I'm glad to hear that. Take the car. Mikey knows his way around, so I think he'll drive. Don't worry, it'll be okay. Not a bad minivan. Just enough to keep our guns out of sight. I like it. Come on, Mikey, let's go. I think we're going to make this thing go fast. By the way, question. How did you get to Finn? Accidentally? I was in that building when they had their meeting. I was there at the time, and they wanted to shoot me just like they did you, but I got them talking, and they took me in. I guess it's just a fluke, but I'm already in good standing with them. That's a weird car, it's so wobbly. Did you take credit for that? Okay, you said you just happened to be there. What do you mean? What are you doing there? Well, I... Huh? Well, I went there to take a leak. Saw an abandoned building and an empty one at that. So I went in. Who knew Finn and his subordinate would be there? The car. That's the thing about this Frugan. He's very strange that way. But it's not bad, and we have it. That's why we're using it. Got it. No questions asked. All right, we're here. Now I'm going up to the roof. I'm going through the second floor. So you go through the center. I don't think you'll have a problem. They don't have firearms. Okay, Mikey, I hear you. Let's do this. There's a lot of them. That's terrible. We're gonna have to shoot them all. That's gonna take time. Okay, I've still got a couple grenades, so I'll use them. I accidentally went out the back door. Problem? They're pretty fast. You can't even swing a grenade. You need to take a breather and regroup. There's a lot of them. Apparently someone said there'd be a robbery, so there's a lot of them. Okay, we'll figure it out. I don't think we'll have a problem taking them out. Another one's poking around. How awful. Finally, I put them all down. All right, where's that safe? Okay, I found it. We gotta blow it up. Whoa, wow. So much gold and money. This is unbelievable. Too bad I don't have a pickaxe or an axe to get it all back quickly. But it's an insane amount of money. We should find Mikey, see if he has a pickaxe or some other tool. And we should check to see if he's okay. Yo, JJ, how you doing? I'm on top of it. There wasn't many of them up there. By the way, you were talking about tools. Yes, there's a lot of money and gold there. I didn't bring a pickaxe or an axe. I'm afraid I can't break it with my hands and take it with me. Do you have anything? Here, I got some. 
Finn gave them to me, so he knew what he was getting into. How much money is there? A lot, Mikey. Even with our 20%, that's enough for a lifetime. Finn was right. This is the deal of the century. 